lovelies, I hope you're all well. So we've woken up this morning and there are some very exciting changes to design space for desktop. Now this is at the moment for desktop only and it is for in beta. So you need to make sure that you're running on beta 7.20. The rollout will be over the next week or so. So if you're running on beta 7.20 and you haven't seen these updates yet, don't panic, you will get them in the next seven to 14 days. There are some very exciting changes to design space for desktop. There are reversible combinations. So we all love Weld. Well, now there is something called Unite, which is basically Weld, except you can ununite. And then there are other combinations as well, like subtract and intersect and exclude. We're gonna go through those, very exciting. The other change is that we can rename the layers in our layers panel. Something I know a lot of us have wanted for a really long time is to be able to actually change the name of the layers in the layers panel. We can now do that. We're gonna go through it quite quickly and then in the coming weeks, we're going to look at every new thing a bit more in depth. We're gonna look at how it can make things simpler, what the changes are, how you work with it. But for today, we're just going to have a quick overview. First things first, let's look at the layers panel. I've got an image here and you can see it's got layers and all the layers are called the same. Now, typically for an image like this, I wouldn't worry. But if it had lots and lots of elements and I was going to be, you know, cutting out for a while, I, I've always wanted the option to be able to change the names in the layers panel. You can now do that. There's two ways we can do it. We can click on a layer and then double click it in the layers panel and you'll see straight away that it comes up with a text box, we can then change the name on that. So we could call it middle hair piece. The other way I can do it is if I'm on a Windows, I can right click. If I'm on a Mac, I can double click. That's going to bring up my layer functions. Right at the top here, you can see we've got the option to rename. I can select rename and then I can give that a new name. So that's how you can change the name of the layers in the layers panel. You can also change the name of the actual design as well if you wanted to. So for example, if I wanted to call this, I don't know, pastel unicorn mask, I could. So that's how you can change the names of your layers. Fantastic. Something I know a lot of us have wanted for a really long time. So we all know about welding. When you weld something, you are essentially super gluing it together. If I now come to the bottom of my layers panel, you can see that it's changed somewhat. The weld option is not visible, but we've now got combine. So if I open up the drop down menu on combine, you can then see that we've got weld, unite, subtract, intersect, and exclude. So if I weld these two layers, they become one. They're one solid piece. The problem with weld is that I cannot unweld. I can undo, but that only works all the time that I'm on this canvas. If I save this, come out of design space and then come back in, up until this morning, I could not unweld and I still can't unweld. Weld is permanent. If I weld something in design space and I save and close design space down, I will still not be able to come in and unweld. That's really important to know the distinctions here as to what we're doing. If you weld it and you save it, and you come out of design space, when you come back in, you will not be able to unweld. However, if we come down to combine, you'll see that we've got unite. If we unite our layers, 
you'll see we get a slightly different result. It is united, it is one solid piece, but we've still got those individual layers within there. So if we go to make it, it's going to cut as one solid piece. A great way of seeing if it's one solid piece, if, if I change the operation to pen, you can see that that is essentially welded. It's one solid piece. But we've still got the original layers within that. Now if I come back down to combine, I've got two options. I can either merge the layers. Now if I merge the layers, that is again welding it. So if I come in and I unite and I then merge the layers, I save and I come out, I cannot undo that. Once I've merged those layers, there's no going back. I have basically welded it. I don't need to merge the layers though unless I absolutely want to. I can keep them at Unite and it's still going to cut it out as one solid piece. The great thing about Unite is that I can undo it. So if I Unite something, I save it, I come out of Design Space, I come back in and I say actually I want to, I want to undo this. All I need to do is go to combine and undo unite and that will then give me my original layers back. So I've always said attaching is paper clipping, welding is super gluing. So now it's kind of like well attaching is paper clipping, welding is super gluing. So I guess that uniting would be hot glue because it's it's glued together, but I can still take it apart if I want to. It doesn't just work on images, it works on text as well. So in the past when we've had cohesive text, we've had text that goes into each other, we've had to save and then weld so that if we come back in, if we've, if we've welded it, it's not something we can't undo. Well now we can. If I go to combine and I unite it, you can see it's united. I've still got that original layer. Again, if I change this to pen, you can see that that is all one piece. If I then undo unite, it's back to basically being an attached piece of text. So it works for text as well, which is very, very exciting. So don't forget, if you weld something, then it's welded. You can go back, but you can't unweld. If you unite it, and then you save and come out, you can, of course, ununite. The only thing you need to remember is if you unite and merge, then you have essentially welded it and that cannot be undone. So you want to unite and ununite. That is such an exciting change. It really is. I'm I'm so excited that we finally got this. I just need people to understand that welding is still welding. Uniting is a form of bringing everything together, but it can be undone. So the next thing I want to show you is subtracting. So this is really cool. So let's say I've got an image like this and I've got all of these layers and actually I just want an outline layer. I haven't got an outline layer, I've only got a solid background. What I would have to do to create that is essentially weld these layers together and then slice it out of this one. I don't need to do that anymore. This is so amazing, the subtracting. This is, this is brilliant. So all I'm gonna do is highlight my entire image, come down to combine, and I'm going to subtract. And basically what's gonna happen is it's going to take out all of the layers on top of the base layer. So if I subtract this in one motion, I've created an outline. How amazing is that? It's, it's absolutely mind-blowing. 
it cuts out all of those other steps that we need to do and it literally just does it for us. It's it's fantastic, it really is. So basically with subtracting, we can take away elements from an image, but instead of just deleting them, it's leaving that recess where they were. So if you've got a solid background, for example, and you want to create an outline, so easy and simple to do now. Just to let you all know that if I go to make it as it is, perfect. It's going to cut out that outline. Brilliant. If I actually hide or delete these subtracted elements, like so, you'll see that it's actually bringing them back. So if I was to delete each of those elements or as we can see, hide them, it's going to bring them back. So I do need to keep my layers panel if I subtract it, I do need to keep it like this. I can make my layers panel neater by actually closing down those sub elements. So I'm only seeing the layer like so, but it's really important that you actually do keep those elements other layers even though they've been subtracted they haven't been sliced they haven't been physically removed from the item so they're still in there they're still part of the image so it's really important that we leave the layer as it is but I can as I say reduce it right down so we're still keeping our layers panel nice and neat and clean the next element we're going to look at is intersect. So intersect again is a really cool new function. I've got a heart here and then I've got some mermaid scales. Basically, I want the mermaid scales to be in the shape of the heart. So I'm going to bring these over so that it overlaps the heart. I'm going to draw round, come down to combine, open up the drop down menu and I am going to intersect and when I intersect my heart or my scales have then taken on the shape of my heart. I could then go to make it and that's then going to cut out my heart but with my scales. Again, just to let you know that if I hide an element, then it's going to take that away. So I do need to make sure that my layers panel has got each of those elements in order for it to remain intersected. We've also got the option to exclude. So for example, if I wanted this text to be cut out of this image, I would have to slice each of these layers because you can only slice two layers at a time. Well, exclude does it all nice and easy for us. So all I'm gonna do is draw around and select each of my layers. I'm going to come down to combine and I can select exclude and straight away it's going to exclude those layers from that base layer. So it's essentially, again, slice them so that it will cut out my shape with my elements inside of it. And rather than with slice where I can only slice two layers at a time, I can do many layers with exclude. So I could have 10 elements within this shape, select exclude, and they will all then be cut out of that shape just amazing. It's saving so much time. Again, you need to leave your layers panel intact. If I hide or delete one of those elements, it will change the image. So again, I do need to keep my layers panel intact, but I can, of course, neaten it up. So again, we're just going to do a very quick recap. If I've got layers that I want to unite, but I then want to be able to ununite, I can come down to combine and then unite. 
and that will give me the option to then undo that. If I've got an image with lots of layers and I just want something like an outline, I want to subtract those layers from other layers within it, all I need to do is come to combine and subtract. If I want to intersect something, so I want maybe something within a shape or I want a shape to take on a pattern, again, I can come down to combine and intersect. And if I want elements to cut within a shape or a base layer, I can come to combine and exclude. And I can do that with many, many layers. So I'm not having to worry about doing lots and lots of steps. These new changes are absolutely fantastic. And don't forget that we can now change layer names as well. Very, very exciting. We've got lots to look into with these. These are just, this is just the basics. There are so many cool things that you can do with these new features for desktop but I am so, so excited. I can't wait to see what you all think about these. I can't wait to see what you create with them. It's, it's just brilliant. It's gonna take designing to a whole new level. And most importantly, we can undo the things that we're doing and it consolidates so many steps. So it makes it easier and less time consuming, which is just fantastic. As always, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.